Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, today I went to the commissary, the Navy commissary. You go USA, mm. go Navy. Uh, the butcher hooked me up with some prime meat. So I came home with a nice haul. Well, prime meat right here, baby. Oh my God. And we're gonna be cooking it out on our Z grill today at 275. We're gonna uh, cook it like a brisket. She's put on gloves, so I'm gonna go over here. Here we go. I'm gonna use a schmear. I'm gonna be using some organic mayo, but we're just gonna slather it up real nice. This is uh, going to be delicious. All right. Today we're gonna to be using Uncle Steve's SPG. I'll show you that in a second here. Okay. And we're going to be putting some crushed red pepper flakes. If you don't have yourself some Uncle Steve's SPG, you have got to get some. Link down in the description. Always, always hit our store up. We've got a lot of good stuff there. Before I flip it over, I'm just gonna put my crushed red pepper flakes on here. Pat it down so it sticks to the meat. Put some more. Sometimes we use mustard as a schmear. Sometimes we use um, some avocado oil. But today we're just using some organic mayo. Don't have to go too heavy on the crushed pepper flakes. We like a little kick. Did you taste this SPG, baby? Oh yeah. It's got a lot of salt in it, plenty of salt and stuff? Just the right amount. Okay. Hey guys, I really hope you're enjoying the video. We have a goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers by Christmas. Hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Thanks a lot. Back to the show. So if you're skeptical about that mayonnaise, try it. Let me tell you, it's a game changer as far as I'm concerned. You know, we're not going to go very long on this tri-tip, honestly, maybe two hours. Um, you know, we're going to go up to about 165. We are even going to wrap it, believe it or not, unless it's looking too juicy. Now, last time I've cooked something with uh, mayonnaise, uh, I didn't need to wrap it. it. Just It just left it juicy because, you know, mayonnaise is typically an oil. In this case, it's an avocado mm -hmm. oil-based mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay, so it, it's juicy already, guys, so you don't need to wrap. Uh, and with a pellet grill, of course, there's not gonna be a ton of smoke delivered, but we are gonna try a feature that I have been holding back on. Mm -hmm. and that's the feed feature on the Z Grills Backyard Warrior. I'm gonna show you how that works as soon as we start the grill right now. You wanna press and hold that feed button, and what it's gonna do is deliver via the auger extra pellets into your fire pot increasing the uh, smoke flavor in uh, whatever you might be cooking. You should be able to hear that auger turn, hold it for at least 30 seconds to a minute until you have results. We're gonna start this up. It goes straight to 275 as a default temperature. And today we're gonna lower it to 250. And I'm gonna go until that internal temperature is right about 165. Time to open up this beautiful package here. Okay, there's definitely some juice. You know what? I think we want this juice, right, Beth? Huh? I want to save as much of this juice as I can, guys. So I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna pour it into this glass container here. Not bad, not bad. All right, our experience with the uh, mayonnaise uh, binder and schmear is that uh, you tend not to get really a dark bark, but you get this nice oily uh, kind of juicy bark and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just go right down the middle and show you guys the center here. Mm. Nice little smoke ring there. Mm, there juicy, you go. juicy. Nice. 
Look at that. This isn't going to be exactly like a brisket, but look at that, guys. I know. Can I taste now? Mmm. Oh, nice. So, guys, this is actually mm. take two. I think the last take was out of focus, but I had cut with the grain. It wasn't a good chew. I redid it. I cut across the grain. Mmm. Much better chew, guys. I always use that pro tip. Cut across the grain. It's delicious. Mmm. Oh, so good. Too bad you don't have smell vision. You shake on point. That is Z Grill. Z Grill. Hey, nice. It's a good cooker. All right, guys, if you're unfamiliar with Tri Tip, we have a few other videos with a couple different ways of cooking Tri Tip. Some over open fire, which is San Maria style, which is awesome. I'll leave a link right here for you to go check those out and others on our channel. So, until next time, we'll see you later.